Hello students and welcome to Oceanography 100 Online. I'm your instructor Al Trujillo. There's a picture of me in Antarctica when I was on an expedition uh, in November of 2012 and yes there are penguins in the background there. And um, I just wanted to go over a few important parts of the course and give you some information. So I've recorded this short presentation here. First of all let's start with what is oceanography? And as you can see it's a interdisciplinary science covering all sorts of different sciences as they relate to the ocean and it's not just marine biology so that is a separate course at Palomar but we will cover some marine biology topics towards the end of the course I also have recorded this video about what oceanography is so let me get this set up and I'll show you this video Hello students and welcome to Oceanography 100. I'm Al Trujillo, professor of oceanography here at Palomar College and lead author of your textbook. I want to tell you a little bit about this course. Sometimes called Oceanography, Marine Science, or simply the Oceans, this course is intended to help you in your quest to know more about the ocean. As you learn about the ocean, I hope that it elicits a sense of wonder and a spirit of curiosity about our watery planet. The ocean represents many different things to different people. To some, it is a wilderness of beauty and tranquility, a refuge from hectic civilized lives. Others see it as a vast recreational area that inspires either rest or physical challenge. To others, it is a mysterious place that is full of unknown wonders. And to others, it is a place of employment unmatched by any on land. To be sure, its splendor has inspired artists, writers, and poets for centuries. Above all, take time to admire the oceans. The scientific study of oceanography is typically divided into four main academic disciplines or subfields of study with much overlap. They are, first, geological oceanography, which is the study of the structure of the seafloor and how the seafloor has changed through time, the creation of seafloor features, and the history of sediments deposited on it. Second, chemical oceanography, which is the study of the chemical composition and properties of seawater, how to extract certain chemicals from seawater, and the effects of pollutants. Third, physical oceanography, which is a study of waves, tides, and currents, the ocean-atmosphere relationship that influences weather and climate, and the transmission of light and sound in the oceans. Fourth, biological oceanography, which is a study of the various oceanic life forms and their relationships to one another, adaptations to the marine environment, and developing sustainable methods of harvesting seafood. Other disciplines include ocean engineering, marine archaeology, ocean policy, and marine education. Because the study of oceanography often examines in detail all the different disciplines of oceanography, it is frequently described as being an interdisciplinary science, or one covering all the disciplines of science as they apply to the oceans. This course includes a broad range of interdisciplinary science topics that comprises the field of oceanography. In essence, this is a course about all aspects of the oceans. Lastly, the content of this course was carefully developed to provide a foundation in science by examining the vast body of oceanic knowledge in an educational and sometimes entertaining way. My desire is that you will take away from this course much more than just a collection of facts. Instead, I'd like you to develop a fundamental understanding of how the oceans work really why the oceans behave the way they do. In the end, I hope that understanding the way the oceans work will foster an appreciation of the marine environment and a desire to help preserve it. I hope you enjoy this course. Okay, so that's a little bit about what the course is all about here. And as an overview, it uh, the content uh, examines all the different aspects of of various sciences but as they relate to the ocean here so we're going to include the study of geologic chemical physical and biological oceanography and how they relate to one another 
Some of the class topics include these that are listed here, um, various different uh, types of uh, content will be covered as we go through the course here, and in terms of this picture that's on the page, it is showing a diatom, and I have a passion for diatoms, so I thought I'd show you what one looks like. They're marine microscopic organisms that uh, are incredibly abundant in the ocean, and more about them when we get to chapter four. Here's some contact information for me, how to get a hold of me via phone or email. Uh, my office hours are listed on the syllabus. I also typically hold a weekly live office hour to answer student questions at various times throughout the semester. There's my email address, the website, and of course the course Blackboard site. A little bit about the textbook. Uh, as you've heard, I'm the author of the textbook here, and uh, the current edition is the 11th edition, Essentials of Oceanography, and uh, new copies include access to Mastering, uh, Mastering Oceanography, which is a site that's designed to give you individualized feedback and help you understand concepts by going through a series of uh, test questions. So I have lots of content on Mastering, and uh, this is the current edition of my book. I've been working on it since the sixth edition. There's some more details about how I got involved in being a textbook author at the course Blackboard site. A little bit about exams and assignments. Uh, these are the point totals for the different uh, ways in which you can earn points. Uh, lots of discussion board posts or other online assignments, including assignments in mastering. And um, the total then is there. There's a comprehensive final exam. Just to let you know, for discussion boards, the initial post is normally due on Saturday. And then replies to other students will be by Sunday at noon. So usually assignments or other things are due either on Saturday at noon or on Sunday at noon. And there are some extra credit opportunities. Here's the typical grading skill that I use. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll curve this a bit, maybe a percent or so, but I will definitely not raise this grading scale. Field trips. There are none that are offered with the lecture course. However, if you're interested in uh, field trips, I would strongly urge you to enroll in Oceanography 100 Lab, where about a third of the course is spent in the field. And also, based on the studies that we've done at looking at student uh, success in our courses, one of the best ways to achieve student success in the lecture course is to take the lab at the same time. So the lab and the lecture topics are tied into one another, and students who take both the lecture and the lab together tend to do a full grade better in the lecture because they're working hands-on with the same topics in the lab. So that is about it. Welcome aboard. Feel free to contact me uh, with any questions you have about the course. Let me give you a few assign more, uh, assignments. Excuse me. Uh, you need to access the course Blackboard site. Uh, more details there, including some options about how to purchase the textbook. Uh, you'll need to also purchase Mastering Oceanography. Uh, and again, there's a worksheet or there's an informational sheet I have online about uh, suggested options for purchasing the book and mastering. Read the preface and the introduction, very short little parts of the book in the beginning. And you can start reading chapter one, but lightly. For instance, there's uh, topics about the history of oceanography, and I would go rather lightly on those parts because I'm not going to test you on any dates or places, people or names of those kinds of things that are in about the first third of chapter one. So, welcome.